Hey there, welcome back grade seven. Today is gonna be a really quick video. I'm gonna get right to it, so here we go. Welcome to class, March 18th class notes. We got two goals, yes, two goals, count them two, one, two, and they're right here in front of you. Review March 16th submissions, I'll talk about in a second. And goal number two, keep going with a few clarifications. And you know what, I'm just gonna blend that into only one. That's how awesome we are today. So let's look at what you all have turned in over the last 24 hours or so. So I asked you to create your own original illustrator cartoons, and many of you have done absolutely awesome, but I only have 23 of you who have turned something in. I also said very clearly on ManageBack, turn in the original Adobe Illustrator file. Let's go look at that. All right, here we are on manage back. So this is the task from the 16th. It says right here, turn in your Adobe Illustrator file, not a screenshot, not a PDF, not a PNG. All right, very first one, Ajin, this is a beautiful piece of art. Absolutely love it. It's a PDF. I want the original Adobe Illustrator file. The Illustrator files are small. They're easy to email or upload to manage back. But otherwise, Ajahn, this is gorgeous. This is beautiful, and this is what I'm looking for from everybody. Arthur, we got a stick figure here. It's a great start. Keep going, add some color to it, add some detail, explore the use of that pen tool. <laughs> I love this snake in a tree. It's beautiful. Pizza guy is, or girl is on the way. Oh my goodness, we've got an alien robot laser fight thing. I, I don't know, but it's it's fantastic. I love the little fire explosions there. All right. This one is a screenshot. Look how blurry it is, right? See that? That is not okay. I need the original Adobe Illustrator. Screenshot, screenshot. All right, this one comes to us from Henry. I cannot open it. Uh, it says Henry. All right, but let's see if we add the .ai to the end of the file. That's Adobe Illustrator. Max says, hey, are you sure? Yep, I'm sure. Oh, and there's our artwork. See, don't change the name to erase the AI. Leave the .ai. It's very important. All right, Bryce, this is beautiful, but Bryce, and this goes for a couple other people who did the same thing. I love this picture, but look what happens when I open it. Did you see that? It's like, hey, can't find the file, can't find the file, can't find the file. That's because your Snoopy, your Dora, and your Homer Simpson are pictures from the internet. Didn't draw those yourself. If you don't draw them yourself and you send the file to someone else, they're gonna disappear sometimes, depending how you attach it. Also, we cannot laser cut pictures from the internet. They will not work. We'll talk more about how laser cutting works later, but if you don't create the product yourself in Adobe Illustrator, the laser cutter will not work and your nightlight is not gonna have the decorations you wanted. So it's extremely important that we create the artwork ourselves. Uh, it's That's the entire purpose of learning how to use Illustrator. Woo, look at that, Leo. It's me and my reflection. All right, Samantha, we've got, I don't know who these characters are, but it looks great. But again, we've got PDF. PDF. PDF is not okay. Maho did the Peppa Pig. Awesome. This looks beautiful, Eduardo, but again, it's a picture. It's a screenshot. That's not okay. I need your AI files. All right, Monaha, looks like we're working on potato characters. Tracy's getting some bear action going on. Uh, now this one, Jenny, I've seen this one on the internet. This is a really awesome tutorial. I'm, I'm really happy to see you did that one. And we're gonna talk more about those in just a second. Q has, what is this, a Pokemon? I'm sorry if it's not a Pokemon. It's a beautiful creature. It looks like a, a duckbill platypus. I love those. We got a screenshot from somebody here and look at the name, screenshot. I don't know who that is, right? So I'm gonna do attendance and mark you absent if this was yours. Uh, check out the mushroom house. Go Mario, go Mario, but it's an ant home. I love it. Tomohiro, I see you're working out of Fusion. I wonder if this means you don't have Illustrator. If not, you need to contact me ASAP. But I really, really love your effort here in Fusion. But I'm telling you, this is a lot harder in Fusion than it is in Illustrator. Yi, I don't know who Yi is. Uh, I like what you're going with here. I like the kind of cartoon monster idea, but I want to notice and really, really point out, this is very important for everyone to see. 
you've probably created this using the brush tool over here. You just filled it all in to create the shape you want. Um, again, we're going to talk about laser cutting, but this is not going to work. This is totally, totally, totally not going to work. This is why I've actually never even said to use the brush tool in any of the tutorials. I've never said it because the laser is going to follow not the shape you see, this green outline. The laser is going to cut the paths. So you're going to put a piece of material into the laser cutter and it's going to cut along these blue lines. And you're going to get all of these little pieces of wood cut up into weird, useless pieces. So this is totally 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 not going to work you have to use the shapes tools and the pathfinder so if you wanted some kind of a rounded shape like that start off by drawing yourself your ellipse rotating it giving it a fill color what is this this is um, 90 30 95 30 so let's give it the same fill color 90 30 95 30 I, I got that wrong but close enough Okay, so there's the same basic fill color. Now, if you wanted odd versions of it, those little bumps and things, you could always make other circles here, overlap them wherever you want them to be, select the three of them, get your pathfinder, and unite. And see, you have basically the same idea, but you have one path, and the laser will cut out this shape, not all these blue lines. So please do not use the brush tool. Uh, it's very specific why I haven't mentioned it in the previous tutorials. The brush tool will cause big problems later. And last one, Yutaro. Man, this is really, really impressive. Yutaro is making himself a baseball player. I'm missing something there, but that is beautiful, fantastic. So uh, today's task is to keep working on these, improve them, add more character, add more detail, work on the backgrounds, whatever you want. But I'm very, very, very serious in that you need to be working with the Pathfinder. You need to be working with the Pen Tool to create whatever shapes you want. Please avoid the Brush Tool and don't take things off the internet. Okay, if you are absolutely brain dead and can't come up with an idea on your own, on ManageBack, I posted a link to this website here, 100 step-by-step -step tutorials. You are more than welcome to, to view these and try to follow one of them for inspiration or to just learn more skills. Now, if it looks really complicated, like this one, it is going to be complicated. All right? If it looks really, really simple, it could be deceiving, but it's not too bad. See, look at that. Somebody did that one. Hey, do you notice this? Huh, wonder where I got it. So again, some of these are really easy. The snail is so cute. Rabbit's not too hard. A few of them are pretty hard. If it doesn't work for you or you're struggling too much, just move on to a different one. I also posted this link. It's another website, but look, they're the same tutorials for the most part. I gave it to you in case the first link isn't working for you. So you've got two. All right, that's it for today. Work on your illustrators, make them better, improve them, focus on the Pathfinder shapes and pin tools. All right, I'll see you all soon. Take care.